2 Sports Action presents Western Suburbs up against Penrith. The Magpies are mid-table with a 50% record. They've won four from eight so far, and the pressure is on as they search for consistency. They're coming off a loss to the Tigers, but they're back at home, and that's where they're capable of producing their best. Inside to McGuinness. McGuinness racing away. Turns it into Leeds. Leeds gets it in to Kevin McGuinness. Kevin McGuinness is going to race away. Good evening, everybody. The Western Suburbs Gold Star Magpies onto their home ground here at Campbelltown. Trying to erase the memories of the one that got away last weekend against Balmain. Small crowd in. McGuinness at fullback. That's Ken McGuinness. Darren Willis, Kevin McGuinness, Brandon Pearson, Asiri Lang, then Andrew Willis, Coleman, Scandalis, Mesher, Capavilla, Kennedy Langback, and Georgialis. Coached by Tommy Rodonikus prior to here. Rabs, has it started raining or was that gel in the hair? Mark Oten is the referee. Handled the big one last weekend. And this is a Seri Lang coming back on the first touch. Pulled down eventually by a good chase from Darren Brown. And this is the number eight, Scandalis. Tell you more about him as the match progresses. 19 years of age. That's a nasty pass, that one. Down low for young Capavilla. And so Western Suburbs just cracking the 20 metre line on their first set of six. As Mesha fires it back, looking for the kick. Ken McGuinness, a big kick. But Penrith are going to come back with it in very good feel. He was the runner. And he's put away again by George Arles. 25 metres out. Carter, he goes to the air. Early in the match, Penrith tests them at the back. A test for Ken McGuinness, he's equal to it. He comes away and has put away 25 metres out from his own line. Now, to the left of the ground. And a good run there by Scandalis. So, the three Oden indicates. Great shot there, Danny. Ken McGuinness keeps it low, punches it down to the Penrith in goal area. He leads the race, a bit of buffeting in the back play. Penrith trapped inside the end. Taken by Matthew Adamson. It's a very good drop kick. It's gone over the halfway line. And this is Scandalis, who's highly involved. He set out his ambitions at the start of this year to play a first-grade game. Let's hope that he enjoys it. He's making... Oh, high shot! Steve Carter. Carter it is. And renowned for it too, Steve Carter. Looking like Carter here. Gets himself into trouble a lot of times with high shots. No, he's going to put him on report. Well, young Capavilla did the right thing by getting to his feet. The only thing in favour of Steve Carter here was he actually dropped off the tackle halfway through it. It was a very, very clumsy effort. He might be very lucky to be there, Steve Carter. The one man who'd know, Mario. How did you see it from the, on the sideline? No, no, I thought it was OK, mate. I'll, to be honest with you, I'm glad the referee uh, deliberated with his touch judge and didn't send the player off. I don't think he deserved a send off, but uh, he's done the right thing and placed him on report. Here's another oh, view of it. Capavilla, the ball carrier, nice. and Carter leaves the ground to take him high. Morvan Edwards suggesting that it was around the shore. Ten and a quarter minutes gone. The kick is coming around, but not quickly enough. Western Suburbs bring it back. Wasn't able to make it go dead. So good work over there by Brandon Pearson. Pearson and Edwards go hammer and tongue. This is erupted. Three or four brawls occurring. Steve Georgialis trying to act as some sort of peacemaker. Jason Williams and Cherry Mesh to go eye to eye. And this has been simmering for a little while. It started on the 
the kick chase from Western Suburbs earlier, where Bobby Thompson was taken in goal. And some words were said. A little bit of blood there on one of the Western Suburbs players' faces. Brandon Pearson and Morvan Edwards would be the two that were we spoken to initially. Then you'll just about have to speak to another 24 players to get the point across. Darren Brown's had a bit of a picnic in there. There's Capavilla leaving the field. He caught one of his teammates' heads. He came into the fight. I think he might have. I think he might have got one from Darren Brown. Actually. Put a couple of him too. He might have been a little bit stunned after the first one. All right. Well, while the court, while the court decides who the guilty parties are, we'll take this. Well, welcome back. And au revoir for ten minutes. Darren Brown, Scott Petheridge. That is young Damian Kennedy. He came over the top, Kennedy. He was throwing everything bar his back teeth into the middle of it. And with the Panthers backing off here, it appears as though the penalty will go to the home side, Western Suburbs. So they've lost out on a couple of counts there, the Panthers. Two players down against the one. And forfeiting 40 metres to 30 metres in possession. And offside. Yep. Scandalous has been taken out heavily and it's erupted again. Morgan Edwards involved again. Well, they're breathing fire out there at the moment. Steve Waddell set young Scandalous as his target and took him out. 13 and a half minutes gone. Basically had no football in the last three and a half. Oh, now it's time for cool heads to prevail on both sides. It's where the likes of Coleman, Lang Mack need to get in their players' ears and say, Let, yeah, let's let the opposition get on with that, we'll play football. Here he comes again, young Scandalous. And that's a great run. He said, give me the ball, we'll take him on again. 15 is done. 30 metres out, Coleman, through to Georgialis, oh, Carter came up, a creaming tackle on Ken McGuinness, good work by the Penrith captain. And very nice to see Steve Carter give Ken McGuinness a little tap on the back of the head, the head there, he comes in, gets a good shot, McGuinness had a little bit of a look to see how quickly he was coming, get back up, Simon Edwards. Strange part about that uh, altercation is Mesher comes up out of the line. Edwards and Pearson were in the middle of it. They're still there. And three of them are missing. Phil Adamson attracting the Magpies. Mightn't be a big crowd, but they're getting plenty of encouragement now. Waddell. Mesher cut him down. Dunn went over the top. Cut off. Lofted part. Looking for the extremity. Girdler. Halfway line. Thompson for Matt Adamson. Left foot kick. Good kick. And that gives them time just to hose themselves down. It's a sound warning coming from one of the game's most revered players. And yeah. Steve Waddell trying to pack in the second row there to hide from the referee with a cut on the eye. He's been caught out. The blood bin. Scandalous has left the field for Western Suburbs after a very spirited opening. He was impressed by his contribution. Western Suburbs then off their own line. And uh, 17 was Paul Bell. And now Ken McGuinness. Ken McGuinness gets a pass away. That's Darren Willis. He's like a hair over 25. Never mind about the 25, he's run 75. And the two quickest players for the Magpies combining, Ken McGuinness and Darren Willis, 
up against an 11 man line and as soon as McGuinness got into open space it was all over here's McGuinness now we freeze play you can see Matty Adamson on the inside only the two Penrith defenders to beat and a host of players out wide from Western Suburbs. That's all McGuinness needed to do was to link up with them. Beautiful evasion, lovely pass. Adamson valiantly trying to match it with the speedster. Robbie Beckett coming from the far side. He did a good job to stop Willis from improving the position for the conversion. But it was set up by this man. Ken McGuinness. McGuinness. On the outside, just too much pace for the fullback, Bob Thompson. And here's Willis in open spaces. Too much speed for the cover coming across, albeit Penrith only with 11 men. But Willis tries to improve his position when he goes across the line. They were very slow to reform in defence, weren't they, Penrith? That allowed Ken McGuinness to set up this man. Well, what it was was good football from Western Suburbs to go straight on the attack. Try and get on the outside of the Panthers, and that's exactly what they did. Third try of the season for Darren. He's back on, Siri Lang. And uh, that is Kevin McGuinness now. And one of the Panthers, Danny Farrer, being called out by Mark Oten. Western Suburbs having a lot of luck running their little men out of dummy half there. McGuinness getting in for the scoot, the high tackle here from Danny Farrah. The first team that can settle down in this match will be the one that goes on and wins it. The look of anguish on the face of Danny Farrah as he tries to convince the referee that it was across the chest. Justin Dooley. He's hurt himself here more than Edwards. In this tackle on Dooley, which is certainly the big fellow as well. It was a, an unusual looking attempted tackle from the Penrith 5-8, almost like a shoulder charge, and there you can see it's gone horribly wrong. There's been plenty of blood around in this match. Justin Dooley has copped it. Morvan Edwards. Yeah, Dooley's uh, Dooley's not well either, but Morvan Edwards. Has been sent to the blood bin. Kiwi International. Oh, Kennedy. Well, he fell into that. Mesher. Coleman. Langmack. Langmack tried to get around the corner. That's play on. I think they might have got a touch on it. He hasn't called it. Asiri Lang goes off his right foot. Takes it down towards the 10 metre line. Good run by the big fella. 10 metres out from the line. Mesher the dummy half. Coleman at the receiver. And then the long pass. Trying to get around them, Andrew Willis shrugs off one and pushes away another. Gets the ball away, batted off the ground. Ken McGuinness, they run an angle. Pearson inside the 20, came off one of the Penrith players and they've come back with it. Petherbridge runs it away. They come across the ground. They're on their own 10 metre line, but they have an overlap. And then Girdler takes the tackle. Well, this is one of the craziest games of football I've ever seen. Here's a penalty for the Panthers. Got a bad feeling that we're not going to finish with 26 players at the end of the game. We've seen more clumsy missed tackles than any other match, and nobody really paying any great attention to the quality of the of the football in their hands. Bounced back into Langmax. He got knocked out, picked up by Petherbridge. And straight away they went on the attack. That side's really undisciplined in, in most departments at the moment. So the Panthers, they launch themselves to the halfway line. Carter, switching the point. And now it's across for Girdler. Girdler tries to get a pass off. And the referee will put a scrum down. Bit of impatience in the game here, Mario. Exactly right. Both sides have to settle down. It's the team that settles down first that should win this game. Wests have to show a bit more patience. Actually, I can hear Craig Coleman, he's right in front of me now. He's telling his boys to make sure they, they play out their set of six. 